what is going on everyone and welcome back to immortals phoenix rising so real quick i wanted to take some time out to show you guys all of these special and exotic mounts that you can get in the game now these are going to be special mounts that uh you know when you go to find them there's not going to be two or three or four of them kind of roaming around together these are going to be lonesome exotic uh mounts that you can actually find throughout the game so i will show you guys exactly what those mounts are and of course where you can find them but before we do that i do want to ask you guys uh, a big huge favor and that's to join the channel or join the community the team silverback community by tapping that subscribe button and tapping that like button as well that will bring you guys more video more gameplay more content more guides and so forth later on especially when we do some of the big releases coming up like cyberpunk 2077 so with that being said let's go ahead and show off all of the horses that are exotic or the unique ones and then where you can find them okay so as you can see i have quite a bit here but we'll kind of just go from left to right top to bottom starting with the athon i believe that's how you pronounce it but uh this is a pretty cool mount um obviously if you're looking for one that has more of like a fire cosmetic look to it i think this is probably one of the best looking mounts in the game um definitely pretty cool and uh you know other than that um if you're looking to find this mount you can actually find it right here on the map Okay, so moving on to mount number two, this is going to be anti Kythera. I believe that's how you pronounce it. This is going to be a really cool one that you can get. Obviously, you can see it's made out of steel or iron or I don't really know. Obviously, it's a metal horse, probably the only metal horse, I guess, that you've seen. It looks very industrial, dwarven type, uh, you know, origin. Either than that, let's go ahead and show you guys what it looks like. As you can see here, usually it's supposed to glow on the inside of that, usually like a, a red or orange glow. I don't know why it's not glowing right now, but it looks obviously pretty cool. It's definitely, definitely a unique one. And, uh, you know, if you're looking to get this horse, you can find it right here. Next, moving on to Asphodel. Asphodel. Uh, so this is a ghostly spirit um, type mount. Obviously, it has a pink glow. I haven't seen any other variants or any type in a different color, but nonetheless, it still looks really cool. It's actually one of my favorite ones that you can get just because it's just, I don't know, it's beautiful. It's glowing, it's vibrant, it's radiant, <laughs> whatever you want to say. So this is definitely a really cool mount, definitely a, a really unique one. I think probably more unique looking than some of the other ones that are actually exotic. So with that being said, here is where you can find the mount. Okay, moving on to the Guardian. So this is going to be a golden uh, horse, but it actually has wings as well. I don't, I forget the, the actual technical name for a horse with wings. So I apologize for that. Um, but let's show you exactly what it looks like here. So this one is really, really cool. Um, obviously all gold, it has the wings. Um, I haven't found a way for these horses to actually fly. I don't know um, if maybe it's just something I missed, but, you know, trying to do this, they don't really fly. I guess the, the whole purpose of their wings is to make sure that, uh, you know, if you do run off of a cliff, they won't actually die, I guess you'll say, or disappear. But other than that, yep, this is the uh, Guardian exotic mount, and here's exactly where you can get it. Okay, so moving on to my favorite one. I don't know why this is my favorite. Maybe because blue used to be one of my favorite colors as a kid. But this is the Indica or Indica. Uh, so you can definitely see it's more of a ice mount. Blue. It's got that really cool looking blue majestic horn there. And this is this is my favorite mount. It doesn't have wings. It's not you know glowing like crazy. But, you know, in my personal opinion, this is just my favorite. So if you want to get your hands on this mount, you can actually find it right here. Okay, moving on to Larion. Larion, I don't know how to pronounce that. But this is similar to the Guardian Horse, except I believe it's silver. So I'll go ahead and show you guys. I think it's silver. Um, it would make sense since you have the gold and then you have the silver one. So just like the guardian i mean honestly in my opinion if you're going to go with gold or silver you should just go with gold but uh you know different strokes for different folks right 
So if you're looking for this uh, mount, you can actually find it right here. Okay, so moving on to Paragon. So this is one of the really cool looking mounts I'll actually show you here. And the reason it's cool is because of the armor that it actually has on it. So if you look at it, it's kind of got uh, some armor on it, but look at the mouth, right? It's got like this kind of dragon skull, I don't know, sharp teeth look. And I think that makes it look really cool. Um, it would have been cooler if they kind of made it a little bit more out in the front, but of course, um, I don't think that would make sense as far as functionality goes, but uh, who would care at this point with, with this type of game? So if you're looking for a Paragon, you can find it right here. All right, so moving on to Pitalin, Pitalin, I don't really know how to pronounce that. Um, I've seen a lot of people, they've actually missed this mount. I believe it to be definitely a unique and rare one. As you can see here, it kind of looks like a parrot. I guess if that's what you would want to call it. Something like from the movie Rio, where you have the green, the yellow, the red, the blue. Really cool looking mount, honestly. Reminds me of gum for some reason. I don't really know. But uh, very cool looking. Obviously, it's not a silver or gold, but nonetheless, it's got lots of different colors. And I think that makes it look really cool. So if you're looking for Patilin, I guess that's just how I'll pronounce it. You can actually find it right here on your map. All right, so moving on to Tyrion, this is the last uh, exotic horse that I have that you can actually find. I'll actually show you guys here. This might be definitely a fan favorite. I mean, pink's not my favorite color, but uh, I can't deny that it looks absolutely fantastic. Um, obviously, it's just like the blue one, the Indica, that I really like, except it's, it's pink. So if you're looking for a pink majestic unicorn, this is going to be the one you want to get. So if you're looking for that, you can find it right here on your map. All right, everyone. So those are all of the exotic mounts that you can actually get. I know there's a couple of them that I just haven't completed uh, certain quests for to get them. But for the most part, you can get these without completing any quests. They're pretty easy to get. If you haven't seen my video on how to actually get them out, you can go ahead and check that out in the playlist. Then I'll show you how it's really easy. You just sneak up and, and hit what button it says to. So with that being said, thank you for watching. And again, if you guys haven't subscribed, make sure to do so and tap that like button. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.